What is Holy Week? You may have noticed that many churches across the world consider this week to be a very special week. This week is often called Holy Week, and that's because it refers to the final week of Jesus' ministry before his resurrection. Holy Week begins on the Sunday before Easter and ends on Easter Sunday. So let's take a look at the week before Jesus' resurrection and see just what took place. The Sunday before Easter is known as Palm Sunday. On this first day of Holy Week, Jesus entered Jerusalem on the back of a donkey. That may not seem very significant to you, but the people who watched Jesus ride in knew exactly what Jesus was doing. He was claiming to be the Messiah prophesied in the Old Testament. The people remembered Zechariah 9.9, which says, Rejoice greatly, daughter Zion. Shout, daughter Jerusalem. See your king comes to you, righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. And because the people understood what Jesus was doing, they laid palm branches and their clothes in the road to welcome Jesus. And they cried out, Hosanna, which means, God, save us. The next day, Monday, Jesus went back into Jerusalem. On his way there, he stopped at a fig tree and cursed it because it had no fruit on it. He also went into the temple and angrily threw out the men and women who were making money and cheating people who came to the temple to worship. My house will be called a house of prayer, Jesus said, but you are making it a den of robbers. On Tuesday, Jesus was repeatedly confronted by the religious leaders who were jealous of Jesus' popularity. They wanted Jesus to say something stupid so they could condemn him. But Jesus knew exactly what they were trying to do and answered their questions as only the Son of God could do. Also, Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, met secretly with the religious leaders and told them he would betray Jesus for money. The Bible doesn't tell us what happened on Wednesday of Holy Week, but we know Jesus rested in the home of his friends who lived in Bethany, a town just outside of Jerusalem. On Thursday, Jesus and the disciples meet in an upstairs room to celebrate Passover. But Jesus takes the traditional bread and juice and explains that these things point to his body and his blood, which would be given to save humanity. Late that night, Jesus and his disciples go to one of his favorite spots to pray, the garden in Gethsemane. There, Jesus prays, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will but yours be done. Shortly after, Jesus is arrested and taken to trial. The next day, known as Good Friday, Jesus stands before the Jewish courts and eventually the Roman courts, and he's accused and sentenced to be crucified. Jesus is tortured, then hung upon a cross, being punished for the sins of mankind. Late in the afternoon, Jesus cried out, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. His body is taken by Nicodemus and buried in the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea. Saturday was a quiet and sad day. Jesus' body lay in the tomb guarded by two Roman guards. Jesus' followers were brokenhearted, thinking that their Savior was gone forever. And then Sunday came. And early that morning before dawn, Jesus came back to life proving that he was truly the Son of God and Savior of the world. He appeared to many of his followers that day and explained that all of this was God's plan all along. This is the day we now celebrate as Easter. So as we celebrate Easter, remember, you and I enjoy a celebration of friends, family, food, and fun. But we can only celebrate because Jesus made it possible for us to be completely forgiven of our sins. So celebrate with joy and thankfulness for the greatest gift we've ever been given. Jesus, the Son of God, who died in our place so we can spend eternity with Him. Thank you.